Duque was the president of Guatemala many, mm. many years ago um, uh, during an election. It was Vinicio Cerezo, and um, his country had been accused of impunity with, um, you know, there was a, a horrible war uh, that killed 250,000 people that were either killed or disappeared, and uh, there was a peace process and nothing was done. Uh, you know, there was so much impunity in that country that he felt that it wasn't his responsibility, it wasn't his fault. So I, I took with me, and I remember I had kept these for years. I had a big stack of research that I did for that, studies from Harvard, studies, uh, you know, re special reports from Congress, special reports from Amnesty International, from different universities. <clears throat> And I had all that information. I said, there's reports that accuse your government of doing this. He says, who accuses me? I said, well, they accuse your government. Don't you represent your government? And he was very upset uh, and, and did get up and, and leave. That's one of the ones that has gotten up and, and, and left. They don't like to be questioned, especially in Latin America, because I think that uh, they're used to uh, a different type of journalism. They're used to journalists who are either censored or self-censored. Um, who have you know very close ties with the government, with who, whose um, media outlet has close ties to the government, and they don't dare. They're afraid of authority. It's very different than in the U.S. I think in the U.S. sometimes we go overboard and maybe we get a little bit too too close to uh, you know to the questions and feel that we can ask them anything, uh, w whether personal or not. But in Latin America, there's a certain distance uh, between a journalist and, and a head of state. I think when we come from the U.S., even though we're doing it in Spanish, when we come from the U.S., we come with that culture of saying, we are journalists and we can ask you anything in a respectful manner, but you need to you know, answer to, to your constituency. So, but in Mexico, they're not used to that type of thing. Mm. Um, in Mexico and in, in, in several other Latin American countries. So yes, it's happened to me many times. It's happened to me in Colombia with President Uribe. It's happened to me in Mexico. It's happened to me with several presidents. Um, but, but like I say, um, if you don't have the facts, you can't accuse anyone of anything. So you have to really prepare well. If you're going to ask a question, you have to know the answer to the question.